let's explore the subtotal function together using a sample data set. Please, well, you're welcome to follow on with me or just watch. Let's just look at the data set we have. We're basically looking at t-shirts and the t-shirts come in different colors. I'm just gonna scroll down, down to row 45. They come in different sizes and our business has two warehouses. So we have the number of t-shirts in warehouse one and the number of units in warehouse two. Now let's say we want to just take this data set and we want to find out, for example, how many t-shirts of a certain color we have uh, and uh, combine the warehouses, uh, what sizes we have, and so on. We're going to use the subtotal function. Now before we do that, all the things we're going to do are on the data ribbon in Excel. So what I'm going to do first is I'm going to highlight my data set because the first thing I'm going to do is not go and look at the subtitles, but I'm going to use the sort function. So to get to the sort function, not using your keyboard, you could just go Alt and then A for data and then SS for sort. Now my data has headers and I always like to highlight the header row so that then when I'm sorting, I know exactly what I'm going to sort by. And I'm going to sort by color. I'm going to click OK. And there we go. We have beige, black, green, pink, white, all sorted, and the various sizes. Now what I'm going to do again is I'm going to highlight this whole table. And I'm going to use my arrow key because I've enlarged my screen so that you can see everything. It may be hard to find the subtotal function. So in your screen, you may see it at the far right or near the far right. When I go to the far right, you're going to see there's something called outline. But when I click on outline, I have group, ungroup, and this is what we're going to use, the subtotal. So I'm now going to hit subtotal, and you're going to see what comes up. It's looking at my headers, and it's saying it's defaulting to certain things. Uh, at each change in color, sum. And that's what I really want to do. I want to know how many white shirts I have, how many green shirts, and so on. But I have two warehouses, so I'm going to select the number of units in Warehouse 1 and the number of units in Warehouse 2. I'm also going to, this is the first time we're doing this, but if you had already done a subtotal and you wanted to do another one, you could replace the current subtotals or deselect it so those aren't replaced. Also, a summary piece of data can be placed below or above. I like the summary data to be below, so I'm going to leave this one checked. Now I'm going to click OK, and I'm going to scroll up. And what I'm going to do is you can see there, there's grouping that's now happened, and I'm just going to hit 1. So I just see the grand total. So there's my grand total of t-shirts, and that's the summary data I talked about that I wanted at the bottom of the table. Then I have my color totals. There's number in warehouse 1 and number in warehouse 2 by color. And I could hit number three, and I can actually see those subtotals. So it's a really amazing function to get subtotals. Now let's just do one more thing. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to do one more analysis. I want to actually go back to subtotal. So we go to the data ribbon. We go find outline, or you might just see subtotal there. We click on subtotal, but let's actually now say we want our size, and we want to count how many we have of different sizes. So now what we need to do is deselect the number of units in the warehouse. We need to collect the sizes. We want to count them. Now I don't want to replace my current subtotals because I want to know how many beige shirts I have, black shirts, and so on. So I'm going to deselect the replace current subtotals, and then I'm going to click OK. And now what we see is we can, I'll just summarize it. We can see sizes is summarized, and we also still keep our total number of color t-shirts. When I click here, we can see, again, the size and the colors. When I click on the three in the grouping, now I'm seeing the counts, plus I'm keeping my totals. So you can do multiple subtotals. Good luck with using subtotal with your data sets.